Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 17th of March. Um, now, first off, I just want to say quickly, um, I hope you guys watched my video yesterday where I talked about that um, murder documentary and how people were labelled with the conspiracy theorists. If you haven't seen it, um, maybe go check it out. It's very interesting. That's how they're labelling us in Australia as religious terrorists involved in a cult. We know how it goes. Um, I think in America, don't they call them QAnon and all this kind of thing. Similar kind of scenarios are sort of being painted now of anyone who speaks out against anti-government. Um, I think that's all I've got to say today. Oh, okay. Oh, no, there was one more thing. <clears throat> I know a lot of us here, and look, I feel the same, Things are getting a little overwhelming, aren't they? Um, and it's very hard to know how to navigate these things, particularly around the banking systems and the collapsing. Um, I totally get it, guys. I feel the same way. You know, we get our guidance and it helps us to, to stay focused and clear. But it's it's we're still kind of living this. I talk about the two realities kind of crossing over all the time. And it is really hard. You get all these questions like, do I pull my money out of the bank? What do I do? How do I do this moving forward? Do we buy more gold bullion? Um, there's a lot of questions. So I might even come on and do a specific reading about that. If I get time today, I might even do that today. Because um, I do feel like we kind of need a little bit of guidance um, moving forward as well, probably financially, because like I said, it's going to affect everybody. Um, that's why we keep willing these people, the hibernating bears, sleepwalkers, to wake up because it's really important that they fight back now to stop what these dictating tyrants are trying to roll out. As we know in England, it's all go at the moment, hence causing a lot of people to stand up fight back, and fight back, which is really good. So I'll come on and do another video around that topic specifically to do with <clears throat> financial budget. So look out for that, guys. All right, I'll close my eyes, we'll get started, and we'll see what comes up today. <clears throat> God, they're giving me this song, um, Inchworm. You know how that, that little song, it's like a preschool song. We get some strange songs here. Inchworm, inchworm, and... Something you're rather, I don't know the words. Can't you see the beauty? And it's about this little worm who's inching forward. Um, and I guess what they're saying, if you think about a, a worm or a caterpillar, I tend to think of a caterpillar. When I'm getting that image, it's, it's reminding me of a caterpillar, which of course is usually emerging into the butterfly. Um, it's a process. Um, and it's showing me it eating a leaf. Like it just eats and keeps eating and eating until the leaf kind of vanishes. Um, and there's also a book and it's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's a cute little story too. They're showing me pictures of that book for some reason. But I feel when we're getting a caterpillar at all, which is like inchworm. And inchworm is probably different, but I'm getting that visual of like a caterpillar crawling along. Um, it, it, it's, it's about this transition. These people waking up, they're heading towards their transition. We talk about the caterpillar emerges into the butterfly, which is who you really are, the core of your being. Well, that's where they're headed now. By the inchworm crawling along, it's showing me like the caterpillar is heading in the direction of emerging. Um which is their soul awakenings. That's just the image that I'm getting. The very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> oh, classic story. But I am getting shown at it, eating the leaves as well till there's nothing like left. And this is what we always say. When people have nothing left, they'll stand up and fight, won't they? Um, when they can't find any food, for example, the caterpillar running out of leaves, Oh, God. Because these people are tired. So you got to remember, they're exhausted too. They're worn out from this. They've been on the narrative for three years. And they thought it would stop. 
and it hasn't stopped as we know it's nowhere near stopping it's just the beginning <laughs> oh god remember the iceberg what there's a lot more to come yet um so they're worn out all right let's see where else we go today God, I'm getting Indio Pacific, whatever that area is. Oh, God. The tide energy. We've all been talking about the tide energy, haven't we, this week? Oh. The Indio Pacific. There's a lot of military um, action and activity in the Indio Pacific. I don't know what the Indio Pacific region actually is. It's just saying Indio Pacific. <laughs> Hmm. I might have to look that up, guys, but if anyone knows anything about it, I'm getting military Indio Pacific. I wonder if it, you would think it would have something to do with the Indian Ocean, wouldn't you? I could be wrong. But these regions, there's there's um, military, a lot of military action. Um, all right, let's see where else we go. God, I'm getting London again. Oh, we're getting a lot of sushi at the moment. We know why, because he's really pushing his little red carpet out. Um, <clears throat> but I'm getting, England is a mirror reflection. I just keep getting shown, the guides are showing me a mirror. Like, oh my God, people in London, England, UK, you guys are worn out. It feels like you're being trampled on. <clears throat> That's what it feels like. It feels like you're being trampled on by like a heap of horses. You know, if you think of that image like, um, I guess we could take an image from Canada and the protest where a lady was trampled on by a horse, um, police horse. Um, but it's that trampled on energy where, you know, one horse goes past, but then there's more coming towards you to trample on you. It's that energy where you can't get your breath. You, you're getting battered and bruised. Um, I'm getting that energy in London, UK. I think someone was telling me you had a lot of strikes. Um, was it the rail systems or something went down? I'm sure it was there. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I read so many comments, I get a little muddled up. Please forgive me. Um, but especially when there's got people communicating from all different places in the world, it gets a bit hard to just pluck something out all the time and remember them. So apologies. Um, <clears throat> but I did, I, I am getting that. People are feeling like they're being just squashed by, and trump, trod on by horses. Oh, people in, honestly, people in the UK are, are worn out. They're dishing too much up to the little people. It's too hard for people to navigate. And you got to remember that the little people waking up, they're not where we are. See, they're not in the position where they can see this from the mountaintop or from afar or they can sense and just know what's happening. They don't know. They're not like us. They're not all sensitive, oh, sensitives, empaths, psychics, etc. Um, that are very in tune with their whole sort of spiritual body. These are people who are waking up and starting to understand these things. So they're still not seeing why this is happening. Um, that's why they keep getting like knocked down by the horses and being trod on, um, because they can't seem to scramble and find a way up. It's like, there's nothing for them to grab onto, to save themselves. Um, that's what I'm getting in the UK. Oh, there's a lot happening over there, guys. Oh, oh my God. This is going to be, be ready for it, guys, because it's going to be a very big, tiring year for everybody, including us. Get your vitamins. Get plenty of vitamin D and sunshine now. You've got spring, a lot of you over there. I know at the end of winter, you get a lot of cabin fever, and it's really good to get out and spring clean your houses, open your windows up, get all that fresh air through. Um, oh, big year, a really big year. So very important to keep your energy vibes up, guys. Um, all right, let's see where else we go. 
Oh, China. We always get China. Um, China is being very forthcoming with their direction and the military pace. See, they want to control the military pace as well. Um, uh, I always say it's the intimidation, the threats. Um, and by doing that, it, it forces other people to get their military um, up to speed. So it's those military threats. We know this is going to continue. Um, this is going to continue right till the end of the year. Even into... Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. What the hell is happening? The energy is, like, just depleting and draining everyone, like the Dementor out of Harry Potter that we often talk about. It's taking everybody's energy. You know how Harry's face just goes, ooh, the Dementor sucks all the energy. Feels like we're all having our energy sucked out of us because we're having to use too much thinking. And maybe that's a message for a lot of us, too, is we have to stop with all the overthinking. Um because it's too draining. Whenever you're starting to overthink and you're feeling anxious or worried or unsure what to do, I guess the biggest tip as the guides always say, bring yourself back into the now. Bring yourself into this now moment and don't be worried about the past. Don't be worried about the future. Just be here and be present. And that's the thing we have to practice the most this year is staying grounded and staying really present in the moment because that's where the joy is. Okay. I'm getting like globally, and this would definitely be France, people are testing how far they can push government. Like people are testing. It's the people waking up, not you if you're watching my channel. Um, this is people trying to push back against the government. They're testing the waters. They're seeing how far they can push their government by not complying, um, not doing the things that they're told, pushing back. Um, they're like doing little tests and experiments. Like, are these things implemented? How much control does the government have? You know, we talk about the involvement of lawyers all the time. This kind of thing. Do we have a leg to stand on? People are getting advice. There's a lot of this going on at the moment. A lot of lawyer advice in a lot of areas, particularly around job loss, um, for sure. When the mandates came in, I feel like there's going to be big fight backs about that. We know there's already been a win for the um, military in America about the myocarditis increase. Um, so this could have start to happen more globally too, and and not just in those areas. It's going to be in other areas too. Um, they're coming together. See, they're coming together. All the voices are coming together to support each other. Uh, let's see if there's something else. Guides are saying like for us, this you guys watching my channel. We have to rely on our own initiative now. We have to make our own plans. Um, we don't have to do the fight backs. You don't have to. You can if you choose to, but you don't have to um, because they're not our battles anymore. I keep saying that. It's like we went off with the first, um, is it battalion? I don't know what they call them. We went off with the first lot and then we've returned like home and home is our safe place, which meaning our terra bella, um, the place that we feel safe. We fought our battles hard and long for three years and now it's time for somebody else to step up. Some like fresh uh, well, fresh fighters, fresh, fresh freedom fighters to step up um, because you can't continuously just keep fighting these battles. Um, so it is important we have to remove ourselves. I keep getting that. We've had it nearly all year. More for our own protection really. Um, so we do have to keep removing ourselves from these battles. Um, and I think the reason the guys are saying that too is because it can ignite us and trigger in us um, those old responses again. And we don't want to go back to that. We don't want to go back to that. We want to keep moving forward and moving on. Um, all right. Let's see what we've got to God, it's showing me the sleepwalkers, people waking up. 
the people and peasants, including us, everyone's juggling their balls in the air at the moment. So we've got the juggling of the balls, meaning mortgages, food prices, fuel for cars uh, and this sort of thing, and house repayments. There's a lot of things being juggled at the moment, but the balls are going to start to drop. People are going to have to start to drop the balls because they, it's like they can't juggle 18 balls. Like normally a juggler will have, what, three? But when it gets to juggling like 18 different um, stressful things, excuse me, guys, that are coming from your government, you're going to start to drop the balls because it's not easy to juggle everything. So that's what I'm getting. Um, balls are going to start to drop for a lot of people now. This will be in the next month, March to April. That's why people are going to start to really fight back. There's going to be more of it. Uh, those, those, um, oh, those protests in France are absolutely terrible to watch. They're just beating the little people. You need to go and check those out, guys. There's, I think I put two on my Facebook page. Oh, my goodness, it's just cruel. They'll drag and isolate one person with, like, eight cops around. They're just beat, beat, beating them. Incredible, just incredible. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm getting messages are going to start to get sent this year now. Anyone who's defiant. See, that show the other night here in Australia, that sent a lot of messages to people that don't you be different. Do not be different or you will turn into this. That was kind of the subliminal message there. Um, and the police have their eye on you now because you're a conspiracy theorist who, you know, searches things. I feel like that's that's what they're gonna the messages they're gonna start sending, um, because they label and they feel this is mainstream media, the police, the lovely dictators that we're all dealing with. They see us as huge troublemakers that stir up the pot, um, as we know they call us misinformation and disinformation. You can't believe people just go along with that and don't even have a their own thinking mind, do you? Can you? It's crazy. So that's how we're going to get um, labelled moving forward, that we are the troublemakers. Um, and people, they're going to sort of say that people should resist falling into that trap of believing that these conspiracies are true. I'm, I'm getting all that. Sorry, guys, they're just giving me some, like, really heavy, dense... It's like very dense head energy I'm getting around all this. Oh, see, they just don't want their narrative to fall over now, these global elites, because they've come so far. That's why everything's so fact-checked. Um, yeah. All right, let me see if there's something to close with today. My head's so heavy. I've got to hold it up. Um, Oh, my poor old head, it's got so heavy. It's like, oh, it's like a big foggy cloud just sitting all around my head. Do you guys ever get that sort of thing? It's just like, oh, I, I like want to clear the space and get to some nice uplifting music because the heavy cloud is like, it's just weighing my head down. Um, it's not hurting. It's just like a thick, thick energy it's like if you make a real watery soup and then chuck a heap of corn flour and it goes all gunky like gumpy it's like that um hang on let me see there's something to close with today <clears throat> Oh, my head's starting to clear, guys. It's good. I'm starting to feel clearer. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? This It's got to be these shifts of energy. It has to be. They're enormous now, aren't they? 
Um, hang on. Oh, they give me so many songs, they just go shh, 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 shh. and they pull them out, like, and then they play one, and then they put it back, and then they play one, and then they put it back. Hang on a minute. Out of the jukebox, you know what they're like? Oh, oh, sorry, guys, my head. <laughs> oh, my God. God, now they're giving me that song again. Hero by Mariah Carey. Meaning you have to save yourself, guys. Th that's the crucial message I'm getting. The weight and the heaviness in our minds of how to navigate this, how to deal with these people. It's just too much. So we have to still keep being our own hero. That's very important. Um, the Mariah Carey song, Hero. It's such a beautiful song. She does sing that really beautifully. Um... God, I'm getting a song by Tina Arena. You've probably heard it. It's called I'm in Chains. And it's the people waking up. They still feel like they're in chains, like tied to government. Like they've been um, chained up. Which is not a nice feeling, is it? But I am getting that um, by Tina Arena. I'm in chains. So they're still breaking free. See, they're still breaking free from the narrative is what I'm getting these people waking up, the hibernating bears that are waking up. Um, Oh, okay, I'm getting a Madonna song to finish off with today. And it's that song. Open your heart to me, baby. You hold the lock and I hold the key. Open your heart to me. What's that song called? Um. Anyway, we've got the key. We've unlocked the lock and we've taken off and escaped from Clown World and Journey to Terrible. But I am getting that Madonna song. Open your heart to me, baby. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love Madonna when I was little. I'm sure a lot of you guys did too. It was a, I want us to play that song today. Often we get messages from songs or sometimes it means something to someone out there. I know a lot of you out there. Look at the little Bake the Cake song, Louise. I know some songs sound a little crazy, but I still get them um, to you guys in case there's a message that someone might be needing to hear that day um so i'm getting that madonna song not sure what it is it open your heart to me that could be what it's called we you have the lock and i have the key so that means that we've got the key to unlocking all of this guys um basically and we already have because we escaped We've, we found our freedom. We found Terra Bella. Now, look, I will come on this afternoon and I'll do a video about how we could navigate some of this financial, etc. moving forward. So look out for that. I'll say goodbye from Australia. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy a little bit more autumn. Not that there's much left. The leaves are still on the tree, so I've got probably another couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, God. All right, take care. Enjoy the sunshine, all you people overseas, and I will... Um, 
come on and do a video probably with the doggos this afternoon. So look out for that as well. Take care, hit the like buttons. Please comment. You know, I love to hear from you guys. We'll get through this, guys. We've just got to keep each other positive and stay strong. We will be able to navigate this. We will. Look how far we've come. Three years, we've navigated <laughs> some pretty challenging times. So stay strong like the muscle arm. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.